our love affair with DIY rings continue. Now, um, I think you've seen this video already. If not, it's going to come soon. Today, it's all about the Union Jack, if I can take it off. Now, this isn't one of my normal Red Head art videos. This is all an extra because you have been asking for these how-tos. So uh, you will have to invest in some polymer clays, some special glue paints, and of course, these uh, ring clasps. But anyway, that aside, let's take a look and see how it's made. Now, the easiest way to create your Union Jack heart is to get a nice blob of blue polymer clay. I use Sculpt P3 and soften it. Then I rolled it into a ball, nice, nice, neat ball. And then I squeezed the bottom to get the point of my heart. And then at the top, I pushed in with my toothpick to create the peaks of your heart. And then I just kept forming it until I had a shape that I was really, really happy with. Once you're happy with the shape, take the back of your ring, push it in just so you can glue it on better later, and then bake it in the oven at 130 degrees for 15 minutes. When it has fully cooled, take some white acrylic paint and draw a line down the center of your heart. Then across your heart, draw another line. So do a cross first. And once you've got this white cross, you can start adding some slightly thinner diagonals to your heart. But I do find it easier to create the cross and then the, the diagonals. Make sure you've got a nice thick layer of paint. You'll see me going over it a couple of times and then let dry. I decided once it was dry that actually it needed another layer. It wasn't strong white enough, so I added another white layer. This craft doesn't take long, but you do have lots of drying time in between. Once the white fully dry, this time I used a red enamel gloss paint. Now you're ready to move on to your red. In this instance, I used an enamel red gloss paint simply because I thought it was so vibrant and such a pretty red that I decided I'd use it. But to be honest, an acrylic red is fine. You could even use red nail varnish actually. So have a look at what you've got at home and see which ones uh, works best. Again, I started off with a red cross and then added the diagonal uh, diagonals in afterwards. Um, now, of course, it can be a bit fiddly and you don't want to smudge any of the paint. So you can use your surface underneath. You see the, the paper heart I've got to help spin your heart around and add all the details. You can see my daughter's helping out too. In fact, she was making her own heart and just practicing whilst I was making mine. Or maybe she was just drawing some smiley faces. There, you can see her heart. She's only seven and I think she did a really good job. Once that all is all done, you can glue on the back of your um, ring. Do make sure you use a very good glue. I use Gemtac or you can use E3000. It has to be a good glue because if you use ordinary glue, it won't stay and your ring will fall apart. So it's very important for this craft that you have a good jewellery making glue that's very, very strong. Once that's fully dry, we're back to our polymer clay varnish. This is a Fimo brand and you basically liberally add a lot of varnish and make it look extra special. I think these rings look, oops, amazing. <laughs> oh. um, I always hang it off a little pencil to let it dry because obviously you don't want it sticking to your surface and once it's dry it's ready to wear. Now don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, add this to your playlist and of course we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care, bye!